Do you know there's some colleges in America where if your flatmate dies, you automatically get... Yeah, what? Nothing, shut up. Will, do the police think you're going to get your laptop back? Oh, I haven't reported it yet. Why not? Well, it only happened yesterday. Besides, I'm more worried about losing what was on there than the laptop itself. Coursework, I mean. Here, do you know what I hear is a good study is? Alcohol. Anybody up for hit the bar? Yeah, okay. Are you serious? Of course, Anne. Yeah. Come on, don't be such a saddle. I am not. Well, come on, then. Hey. How are you feeling? Yeah, okay. So, are you sure that going home is for the best? Why wouldn't it be? Well, you've got exams. I'll be back before then. Listen, I know things got a bit weird between us, but I'd really like it if we could both be mates. Sure. So, if you want to catch this train, you're going to have to make a move. Yeah, I'll get my bag. I'm going to Ibiza, just the two of us. No one is going to buy it. What about him? No, it's too close to home. Michaela. Oi! A quid. Do you know anyone who wants to buy a laptop? What kind of laptop? This kind. Oh, still in the original packaging, I see. No, it's not knockoff. See, there was this enormous fire, right? Oh, don't sell me in a factory. Yeah, that's right. Same one that's been in the news all week. Yeah. And in the papers, people say that they could see the flames for miles. <laughs> Funny thing is, I heard a thing about it. Which is funner. What, me working in a news agents and all? Do you want it or not? Ooh. Does it even work? Of course it works. Then how much do you want for it? Only 100 quid. <laughs> Forget it. Do you want? Fine. We're going. Moped. 90. 90 quid. All right, yeah, just let me get my invisible checkbook out. All right, how much then? Oh, I'll do you 50 quid for it. 50 quid? They sound for hundreds in the shops. Hey, well, you two are the ones desperate to get rid of it. Plus, you'll get a guarantee that I'll never, ever open my mouth. Right, it's sold. For 50 quid? Sonny! Wait for me! I don't get why Jackie's so angry. When the only ones we've been hurting are ourselves. I know why. It's not like I'm sleeping around. Okay, you are her sister, but... I need to explain. I think you should leave her alone until she's calmed down. She's my sister. I need to do something. I can't stand the thought of her hating me. Where are you going? Carmel. Carmel? Any last requests? Just because I'm getting hit from Mercedes doesn't mean my life is over. No, but it does mean never having sex with any other women. Apparently they make you take some sort of vow. Oh right, and you're drowning in action right now, aren't you? But, okay, so a body work is great, but stick a few miles on the clock, then see how you feel. Wait, hey, listen, Mercedes is not a car. You know what I meant by that. Look, we've all done it, haven't we? Walked past the window, spotted a nice sexy little number in the showroom. Problem is, as soon as you get in, turn the engine on, bang, half your money's gone. You're left staring out the window at sexy models. It's human nature. Not for me, mate. Yet Luke Skywalker thought he was ready as well. Oh, what? Now you've totally lost me. Empire Strikes Back. He goes into the jungle. Who's the first person he sees? Darth Vader. Oh, wow. You are spending way too much time on your own. No, it's every lad's worst nightmare, isn't it? Turning into his old man. Reese, I'm not like you. This is what I want, okay? So, have you never had like a list of ideas in your head? Things you want to do before you settle down? Yeah. You got no more? <laughs> no, no way, forget it. Why not? Because I love Mercedes and I want to spend the rest of my life with her. And never sleeping with another girl, it, well, it doesn't really bother me. Right, so that's it then, is it? All your ambitions, all your deep dark fantasies gone like that for one woman? Yeah, absolutely. All right then. Prove it. You, show me what you're willing to give up. See when you get back here. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Well. Come on, we've got to go. Yeah. Bye, Will. 
Bye. Well, you two boys certainly know how to kill an atmosphere. Don't want to be mean, but I'm actually quite glad she's gone. Even if it is just for a week. Right, come on, let's get down to the bar. Actually, I'll, I'll catch you up. How come? I'm, I'm going to go down to the police and report my laptop is stolen. Do you want us to go with you? No, you go. I'll, I'll be right behind you. Okay, well, we'll meet you in the bar then. Actually, Jess, I need to go and top up my phone, so I do that. You can get the first round of drinks in. <laughs> and they say chivalry is dead. You got the vote, woman. What more do you want? <laughs>